Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Psalms 86, 10, as well as Isaiah 4, chapter 4, verse 6. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Lord God, for another day. Thank you for hope and joy in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Psalms 86, verse 10. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. God deserves the glory today, guys. Let's go ahead and give him some glory. He is wonderful. I was I was just looking at my hand. And I was like, you know what, God, the fact that I can type this and and do anything with this hand, it's God, right? I mean, he made it so perfect. Each little joint, each little finger, everything around us was made by God, right? Look outside, look at the birds and the trees. They were made by God, the ground that we stand on, the oxygen that we breathe, the fact that I can look at this computer screen with this eyeball, this perfect little, you know, globe in in our head. Like, I mean, they're so complex and yet we take it for granted every day. Don't take it for granted today. Give him glory. It says, for you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. There is no other God who helped him create that, right? Jesus did it. The world was created through him. It is a wonder what he has done. You know, we look around and we we walk around and do our thing every day, but we don't realize like, could you have made your own body? Could you have made the trees in the sky? No, we couldn't have. Only God could have done it. And he cares about us. That's the thing. It's like he He didn't just create us and walk away. He created us and he cares about us. He maintains us. He keeps us. And it's his desire that none should perish, right? He wants us to come to him. He wants us to have eternal life through him. And he's made that way for us. And and that door is just ready to swing open for us if we receive that into our heart, receive Christ into our heart. And so the second verse that he gave me today was Isaiah chapter four, verse six. It will be a shelter and shade from the heat of the day and a refuge and hiding place from the storm and rain. All right. And so this is talking about the latter day, um, um, the thousand year rain time, right? When the Israelites will return to God and those who live in Israel will be considered holy. And so this was just reminding me that of the fact that, you know what, even if you wait till the last moment in the tribulation and, and you held out, you didn't receive the mark and you held out, and you receive Christ, you can still come and find shelter. You can still come and find shade from the heat. You can still find refuge in him. That's a good God, a good God who would be willing to still take us in after we were wrong, after we held out, after we didn't repent for so long, and then all of a sudden, He's going to provide us shelter if you receive him, right? Receive him into your heart, whether you're listening to this before tribulation, whether you're listening to this after, you can find refuge in him, eternal refuge in him. He's a wonderful God. This is a wonderful thing that he has done. It says it will be a shelter and shade from the heat of the day and a refuge and hiding place from the storm and the rain. We're going to find a great refuge in him. We just need to put our hope and our trust in him. Amen. Don't put your hope and your trust in man or any other thing. Put your hope and your trust in Jesus. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. No one can come to the Father except through him. 
Let's look back at Psalm 86 again, verse 10. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. And the second verse was Isaiah chapter 4, verse 6. It will be a shelter and shade from the heat of the day and a refuge and hiding place from the storm and the rain. God is a good provider, you guys. Let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for the wondrous works that you have done on this earth, in this earth, in the universe, in the stars, in the sky, in the atmosphere, in the oxygen, in everything that you have done for us, in your mercifulness towards us, in your love towards us, in your greatness, in your stature, and yet your closeness to us. Lord God, we love you. We praise you. You sit high on the throne. Worthy is the lamb that was slain. Worthy, worthy, worthy are you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, Go ahead and pray this prayer with me, but more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross, and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. And he's going to show you a church home of believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God. He's going to show you um a place where you can go and get baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.